Chavrich, when do it, Moishi Fisher do in Royal Grove in Jackson? And he called me down because he is a boiler technician and he has something very, very important to share with the Oilem. Moshi, tell us what you have to say. So, correct, Ephraim, thank you so much for showing up over here and coming to me and showing my business. Basically, we have, um, I primarily work in high efficiency boilers certified with all the big manufacturers that the Oilem uses here. A high efficiency boiler, just so you know, is just like a car. You don't do an oil change. It'll work for a period of time before it breaks down on you. A high efficiency boiler should be maintained, according to the manufacturer, once a year and possibly more, um, um, like every two, three years, if anything, but not more than that. You should not go any further than that. Moshe, the test is not only residential. It's a test of great buildings, like apartment buildings, and a test of what you can do and other... So, Ephraim, I don't know if you know this, but I very often travel to Brooklyn. I go to Muncie. There's a lot of condominiums there, big buildings with condos. They have every apartment has a separate little boiler, and sometimes it's just a few big ones where they do the entire um, building. I also I want to point something out on this particular job where I'm working right now. So here we have, this is an exhaust. This is a fresh air intake for this boiler in this house. You could tell it's two different color piping here. Two years ago they had a problem where they had, um, there was like explosions in the boiler every time we turn on. Basically what was happening is the exhaust was coming out, fresh air was right here, it was going in a circle and it was getting, it was contaminating the boiler and it's actively ruining it. and I will show you inside more of what damage that so did. Here's a boiler that we're talking about. It's powered off right now because we did take it apart. I do want to show you a little bit inside. From you know how to climb up a ladder a little bit? Do you think okay, so, uh, we can yeah. deal with this? I'm also going to point out to you a little tool that I use here. I'm going to move it out of the way for right now because we're going to do this when we're done. It's called a combustion analyzer, which makes sure your carbon dioxide levels and everything in the boiler is calibrated correctly. This is something that has to get done the day it gets installed and every time the boiler gets taken apart like we did today. Okay. So this is what this is what you have to do like every so often, whatever, every Correct. once a every, year. It should be done at least every two years. The manufacturer will tell you every year. So there's kind of like almost like a pot of water where there's a fire that happens over here. This thing lights up and turns red hot. Air comes in here. If you remember, I showed you that that fresh air intake. It goes in here, blows down into tubes and heats up the water, and that produces hot water for your heat, for your hot water system, for everything, whatever it's connected to. This is filthy. This should be silver, not brown. And Ephraim, if I could, if I could bother you to please step right up at the ladder and stick your camera in there so the oil should see what it looks like inside. So, okay, here you go. You see how it's all scaled up, it's all dirty. So by the time I'm going to be done with that, that is, I'm going to use a cleaning solution to clean that, plus um, um, brushes that the manufacturer recommends us using, very specific things. It cannot be too strong, it cannot be too thick, it cannot be too hard. I'm going to, I see it has another tank over there. Yes. What's this? Is this going to What's this going to So, this makes this high. So basically the water, the hot water from here goes in here. There's a spiral of pipes that goes in here and, and, and causes the other water that's in there to get hot. There is no fire in there. There's just hot water from here. Got it. So if this guy goes down, this guy goes down, and then this guy goes down, which is the regular in-floor heating. And uh, so, and usually it happens on the coldest day in the winter. Wow, so the chit to never cleans. Do you fix this or yeah. any issues? Correct. So usually, especially for those who didn't do their maintenance, will have issues and I'm happy to come in there and do the repairs for them as well. There's a lot of sensors that go bad, there's different gaskets that burn up and have to be changed. Let's talk about the mala from the immune boilers. If it's, all, if it's all complicated, why do people use it? Look at me, it's in the, the old fashioned so, so, do try, so there's two reasons for it. So number one, in New York, the reason is because it's space. Okay, it. There's no space, this takes up very little space. Over here, one of the reasons why they use it here is also because it also produces a lot of, a lot of water. It could do a lot. Oh, here, okay, it's probably much quicker than the Much tank. quicker, yeah. So we also have here, we have, if you look at all these series of pipes, these are all pipes that are going to in-floor heating around the entire house, and we have a giant storage tank. So, so the whole thing, Hakkabak and Mikkel, out of this one little box. So Fram, I just want to show you what happens in every single maintenance is a key thing that gets done. Do you see these things? They look horrible, they look dirty, they look rusty. So one of these things is a igniter, which lights the fire, and one of them is a flame rod sensor, which confirms that the fire is on. These things, if they get bent a little bit, which they do from the heat, um, they get ruined. And again, the cold as they want to, usually it's going to fail on you. One of the things that we include in our maintenance, it's a brand new pair of these guys. We're going, we're going to be putting it in over here and we're gonna clean out the entire system and hopefully this guy will have many more years to come with the system and uh, I hope to be back here in a year or two for more. Well, Dick. Moshe, with the phone number to reach out to you? 908-560-0319. Call, text, WhatsApp? You can call, text, WhatsApp.
and your service, Brooklyn, New York, New Jersey, everywhere. And Muncie, yes, everywhere. And thank you for being the awareness. Thank you, Fran. I appreciate it.